Welcome to Insights with Thomas Caldwell on November the 10th, 2022. Tom, the U.S. elections just happened on Tuesday. Any comments, any surprises, anything? Anything? <laughs> I, 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 it was quite interesting and it did not produce the landslide of reaction that I think the Republicans wanted to see. They really wanted a condemnation of, of the current administration. Um, and I think there are many reasons for it. And I think possibly, and I, as you know, I tend to be optimistic, I think one of the good things that comes out of this is that even Republicans do not want to encourage President Trump to run again. I think they, they don't want conflict again, because he's going to, if he was elected, were to be elected president in 2024, he's going to be settling scores, it'll be the same division. I think this is inadvertently a vote on the part of Americans to go toward what normalcy, because you have two extremes here, both the Democrats and Republicans, that they say, we want, we want some grown-ups here, we want to deal with real issues, uh, and, and we don't want to go back to the old conflict, everybody fighting with each other. So I think it's positive, but that's, that's my optimism speaking through this. So what do these election outcomes mean for the markets? Any changes? I don't think they have a direct bearing today or in the next week or so, but if I had to use a word that would describe equity markets over the last little while, it would be the word resilience. We've seen central bankers saying, we're going to get rid of this inflation, which they in fact have caused. Uh, you have governments with all kinds of rather bizarre policies and you have geopolitical threats. But the market has actually not done badly over this period of time. In fact, as we get into this fall period, uh, the markets have actually been quite buoyant. And I would suspect we're probably going to see a positive move toward the year end of, the, uh, of this year, that we may even end up the year not far off even, or maybe even up a tiny bit. So I'm optimistic about just the latter part of the year, because it's the market has hung in through all kinds of threats, idiocy, policy mistakes, and has held in. So I view that as a positive. I love optimism. Thank you so much, Tom. Me too. And thank you all for watching. Bye for now. <laughs>